All right, so we went from a regular word to going around it to block in our letters, make blocks, make it much thicker. Now, we don't want to fill it up with color yet because we want to do something different. But then once we finish the blocks, we need to erase the inside. So here's amazing. I didn't do a perfect job erasing, but it's good enough. Um, this is just cheap drawing paper. If you have better quality drawing paper, that's great. You can probably erase a little more. And here's Zoe with it, uh, with the letters out of there. I want to get all of my eraser shavings off. Now, from here, I have to decide what I'm going to do this with. Um, we tested out some different colors and some different materials. Uh, we're going to do crayons and colored pencils for this project. You can use markers. Just remember, don't get them wet unless you have good thick paper. Uh, thin, skinny paper doesn't do that great of a job. So let's do some coloring techniques here. This would be with the colored pencil. I'm going to start with my top color first that I decided was going to be yellow. And I want to leave it very, very, very super light on the top, maybe even white. And then I can start adding a little bit more color, doing this very lightly, not a lot of pressure. We always like to do a lot of pressure on our crayon and colored pencils, but that makes them dull faster. So I'm going to do that. And I want to make this area pretty big. And I'm just going to have it super, super, super light on the top. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the crayon version. I want to go on ahead and do this super light on the top on all my letters. Maybe I might want to leave it really, really light or maybe even white. And I'm going to have a good amount of yellow in here. I think I'm going to leave this top super, super light and put this in. So when I'm working across, I want to do basically the same thing. I don't have to make it match perfectly. I don't have to have everybody's lighter colors on the top and stuff, but I just want to keep on adding color a pretty good amount. Crayon works very, very well for this because it blends in so nicely. If you have colored pencils, you're going to have to work a little bit more. You can use markers, but remember, do not get your paper wet unless it's really good, thick paper. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the yellow on these words, and then we'll transition to the next color. All right, so what you can see here, did the yellow on the top, and we're starting to transition into our next color down. And I'm leaving my uh, crayons and colored pencils up here in case I need them some more. When I start transitioning this in, I want my yellow and my orange to blend. Colored uh, pencil works fine, but crayon works a little better at this. So when I use my colors, I'll go ahead and put them back in order. And maybe I'm going to do three colors, maybe I'm going to do four, but we're, uh, here's our cool color ones. We want to have it nice and light at the top, and then some a uh, little bit more color at the bottom, not pushing harder, just a little bit more layers of color, and then we're going to move on in to the next color down. So uh, my crayon, it's orange, and uh, my colored pencil, it's orange. Uh, my other, my cool colors will be transitioning closer to blue. 